Hey everyone my name is Abhishek and welcome back to another episode of Creative Tuesdays. In today's video we will be growing some flowers but not in real life only in After Effects. So before I begin if you guys are new here then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado let's jump into After Effects and get started. All right so right now I'm in After Effects and here you can see that I have already imported an image of a flower. So this technique works with basically with any flower which has all the petals clearly visible. So it's completely up to you you can pick whatever flower you want. Just make sure that it has a top view and all the petals are clearly visible. So we are going to mask the edges and the more number of petals you have the more time it will take to animate it. So it's completely up to you you can pick whatever you want. So now let's begin by creating a new composition. So go to composition, new comp, let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080. Frame rate you can go with 30 FPS or 60 if you want to have a smoother look. Duration let's go with 10 seconds. Just click on OK. So now I'm going to import my flower. So you can just simply click and drag. So you can see that it's quite large. So you can select this, press S and now let's scale this down. Something like this. Just make sure that it's completely visible and none of the edges are cut off. So now we are going to select this and we are going to create a couple of masks for these petals and this middle point. So you can select the pen tool and just make sure to select the layer. Then you can press Ctrl D to duplicate it. I'm going to hide this one because we are going to use this later on. So first I'm going to draw a rough mask around this. So you don't have to be precise just simply select and just keep on drawing a rough, very rough mask around this you don't have to be precise just keep on doing this just make sure to cover all of the area so here you can see that i am done with my masking so you can select the layer press f to feather the edges something like this and also let's select this and make sure its anchor point is in the center. So you can select the anchor point pan behind anchor tool and you can just simply place it roughly in the center. Something like this. Or you can select this, hold down the control key then simply double click on this and it will automatically move it in the center. Just like that. So now we are going to place this on top of all the layers and we are going to select the bottom layer and let's enable it. So now we are going to create the mask for these petals. So I'm going to again select the layer and now we are going to just simply zoom in and we are going to just click over here and again you can start drawing the mask and this time you have to be a little bit of precise. You don't have to just go outside this box something like this. You have to just keep yourself outside the edges or you can just simply move it a little bit of inside just like this. Just keep on doing this, something like this. Again, you don't have to be precise. Now again, you don't have to be really precise while inside this area. Just make sure that you are really precise when you are masking it outside this area because if you have a little bit of green over here, it will be clearly visible. But over here, you can see that you don't need to just simply go around the edges. You can just simply make a rounded curve, something like this, and it will work just like that now let me just quickly create something like this and again we can just do a turn something like this and just keep on drawing this let's create the edge just like that and now i'm going to click over here and just drag the edge something like this yeah, so I think this is looking fine. Again, let's select this and I'm going to hold down the Alt key or Option key to shorten this edge. And let's just click over here. And you can again click back to finish this. So now you can see that we have completely masked our petal. So we have to repeat the same thing for all the petals. So you can select the layer. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Now select the bottom layer. Press M. Now delete the mask. And now let's start doing this for the second layer and again i'm going to quickly zoom in so you can just click and then just simply start creating a mask again you don't have to be precise you can just simply 
move it a little bit inside so that none of the green area is visible and rest you can just simply use these handles just like that now in some cases you will notice that the edge of the this petal is not visible because it is behind this one so in that case all you have to do is just simply do a rough estimate of where it could be you don't have to be precise just do it something like this and after that keep on doing this So here you can see that we have our second petal also you have to do one more thing after creating each of these petals just make sure to select the layer then select the pen anchor tool and you can just select it and move it to the very bottom of these petals something like this so let's do the same thing for this one as well so now we have these two petals so you have to repeat the same thing for all the other petals just keep on creating the mask and just make sure to move the anchor point at the very bottom so I'm going to quickly fast forward this step and I will come back once it's done. Alright, so I have created the mask for all the layers. So you can see that we have all the petals right here. And I've already placed their anchor point somewhere in the bottom. So now we are going to quickly animate all of these. So you can select these, press S for scale. And let's move to somewhere around one and a half second. And then add a keyframe. Then in the beginning, let's change the keyframe to zero. Now you can select all the keyframes just like this and you can press F9 to easy ease them or you can just simply right click, go to keyframe assistant and then easy ease. After that, go into the graph editor and if your graph looks different, then make sure you are in the edit speed graph or the value graph and then you can select the edges and just change it to look something like this. So here you can see that we have this sort of animation and now we can simply offset the layers. So first we want this to appear so we can just simply select all the layers below it and just move it a little bit further something like this and now you can just simply move all the other layers just like that. So let me just quickly move it somewhere around here so that our center part is completely animated and after that all the petals will appear so again you can select these and just simply move them a couple of frames ahead so let's move them 10 frames so if I play back here you can see that we have this sort of animation and if it is looking slow then you can reduce the gap between these layers or you can just simply select all the layers and just select their endpoints just like this and just move them closer here you can see that now the animation is much faster and we have our animated flower so there is one last thing that you can do it's completely up to you you don't have to do this you can just simply select all the layers and then parent it to the null object and after that you can also animate the rotation so you can just add a keyframe somewhere around here and in the beginning let's set this to 180 degree select all the keyframes press f9 under the graph let's change it to something like this so this is how you can create some animated flowers and let me just quickly create another composition and now i'm going to quickly import our main comp over here and let's add a solid and you can change its color to whatever you want just like this so if you guys have any queries or question you can ask in the comments below so i hope you learned something from this video and if you want to see more of these kind of tutorials then you can subscribe and make sure to press that bell icon so that's it for this video my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one